It's just a toy in principle, but to these pro Morsi activists, it's an exciting new PR tool. Attach a camera, launch it from the roof of a building, and it's now a remote controlled drone flying above the protests at Rabat Square to film and photograph the numbers of people showing up. The activists who operate the tiny plane don't want to be identified, but say they hope it brings more coverage of their protests. The idea was June 30th, the, uh, the military used uh, uh, government resources to tape and, and, and take pictures of the June 30th Tahrir and, uh, uh, and Ittihadiyya protests uh, and didn't cover our protests. So we kept thinking, how could we show our real numbers? How could we have an aerial view that can show both our real size? It's a numbers game. The protests that removed the president drew upwards of a million people in Cairo. Since then, Muslim Brotherhood activists have focused on getting their protest numbers up. When you look at the, the, the anti-Morsi protests that, that, that ushered in the coup, an incredible amount of people. What if you film here and there simply aren't as many people as there? We've been filming and we've had way more people than, than what's it called, the floods of people coming in. In Eid, there was people from all the way from Abbas al-A'ad all the way to the Sadat Memorial. So no, we're, we, the numbers game on the street has never really worried us as, uh, the anti, the, as an anti-coup movement. It has never really worried us. So. The small drone is banned as a propaganda tool, but activists brought in some from outside Egypt. Things are unlikely to get better in Rabah Square, however, with the security forces threatening to move in to move the protesters on. Meanwhile, the battle for Egypt's eyes and ears has taken flight. Jane Ferguson, Al Jazeera, Rabah Square, Cairo.